Okay, so now I have the tool connected. This is be part, part three of this video, but the tool is connected. All of my indoor units are uh, are on uh, heat, you can see. There's eight indoor units, they're all on heat. My meter is situated. I'm just waiting for this thing to kick in. Waiting for it to start up. Nothing yet. Space temp is 74. Better raise the set point a little bit more, a little higher. Why isn't it starting up, is it? You guys probably missed that. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Here she goes. You guys saw that? Woo, woo, that, lo that rotor is locked, baby. It's gonna be tripping. You guys saw that? That shouldn't be, that thing's like, like, like over. I mean, let me go on, let me go on. Uh, damn, I should have my thing on uh, uh, RLA. Is it on? I should have uh, it on uh, TRMS. Then I could have gotten that lock. Yeah, I should have had my meter in TRMS. So I could have seen, the, seen it real time. Let's see if it will do it again. Oh, the arrow just came up already. So I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna redo it with my meter in TRMS. And you guys will see the true number. All right, I'm gonna do that. Let's redo this again, take two. I got a bit excited there. Because the compressor tries to start lock rotor. But, I have this thing on our uh, data so I could play it back. No doubt. I could play it back. I could play by the data, so I'll play the data back later. I'm playing by the data, I will see the amperage spike over here. Um, but I want to see it on my meter though. You know, I want to go to TRMS. My battery is weak, so I have it off right now. Until this thing is going to restart. This thing's gonna restart. It's gonna raise this back up. I'm gonna need it ready. So I powered it off because the battery is weak. You can see the battery symbol right there. I need a new meter, man. You guys could, you know, I'm pro. Why don't you sponsor me? Give me a new meter. Can someone get me a new meter? So I'm gonna press and hold this button right here. So I'm on TRMS. All right. TRMS. It will hold that peak value. Alright, so uh let's go as high as it possible. Put it on low fan. I don't want to disturb the, the, the client. The heat. Start. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Alright, let's go back. So for this time, I'm gonna catch the amperage, but I think I got it right. I think the compressor is locked. Always a problem for this little freaking thing to try it on there. All right, let's wait for this thing to start up. We're recording that, we're saving our data. As you can see, no current error. As I reset it, I rebooted it. Let's wait for it to start again. Take two. In the meantime, freeze frame right here, you guys will get this. I need some instructions how to use the uh, segmented display and the buttons along with it. Instructions, baby. For his frame, you can you can uh, screenshot that. Pause the video and screenshot it. Go closer.
information is always good. All right. That's a segmented display right there. With all your buttons. And dip switches. I'll just wait for it to restart. I'm ready. I'm waiting. I'm in TRMS mode. So I'll grab that peak. Here we go. It's coming along. It's coming online right now. You should see it over here too. This should, this should turn red for the first compressor. It should turn red and the hamper should spike over here. Let's see. I'm ready for you, baby. Yup, 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 yup. Look at that. 43 amps. 43 amps on holding. 50 amps on holding. No good. 60 amps. Look at that. 60 amps. 60, 68 amps. You see what tier, a tier, how good a TRMS meter is? Right? You can read that peak amperage. No spikes. It's hold it for you. Right there. Hmm? Let's see if I can read it over here. So it holds this holds the peak up hit 68 amps. I'm gonna start up. Hold it, hold the peak for you in TRMS mode. So yeah. That got caught. And I didn't even see it over here. Like it didn't go right here. And the error is already up here. The error is back already. But my meter caught it. Perhaps when I play the data, play the data back, the, the data back, I'll, I'll catch it. But um, yeah, I can see that right there. 68 amps, man. That's gone. Sixty eight amps. It's locked out. And uh, the second compressor is not even on. It just stayed locked out. So what I'm gonna do next? Um, so I, I want to, I could do this over while checking all three lines. So I'm going to do the same thing, clump my, clump, clump my meter. Clump my meter on the uh, other two lines and see if I get the same result. If I do get the same result, I know that the uh, inverter is putting out, it's, it's doing its thing, it's doing its job. If I'm getting 68 hands draw on all the three lines, that means, yo, listen, um, my inverter is fine, it's my compressor is a problem. But I'll change inverter anyways. Compressor and inverter. The compressor is going to be locked up. That's going to be the diagnostic. Um, I know the system does not have a restriction. For example, the discharge is not dead ending because the other compressor runs fine. I, I, I watched it run. Um, eventually it comes on and it runs. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this again. So two things I could do um, to simple, simply test this inverter. I could clamp on to the next other line. There's two more lines left in here because it's three-phase compressor. Um, do the same thing on the other, other two lines. If I get the same results, that confirms my inverter is putting on the power equally and I'm good. If the compressor is locked up, that's the diagnostic. And then I can uh, simply remove the cover here and then uh, just check the voltage while it's trying to start on the three phase the three phase output um, I think that's a procedure to test in testing the inverter too if you put it in inverter test mode I won't do that though I think the compressor is just locked up all right so that's the diagnostics I'm gonna do a few more tests run a few more tests here um, I'm more likely I just re reboot it and just put my meter on the other other wire and then do it two times and if the result proves the same that's it it's a locked compressor. Right, here's the second wire, second second leg of the wire. Forty nine amps is drawn on the app. As much as my meter, it says sixty six, but I saw it forty nine here. I caught forty nine on the app. All right.
let's see if I'm still let's see if I'm still live I'm gonna test that by simply going into the uh, the controls and I'm gonna try to give it a command okay I think I'm still live definitely still live I didn't lose connection what is that reset my meter and we'll get it onto the uh, the third leg in the back there all right so let's just do this over again so let's wait for it to restart and like I said I saw this the CT went up to uh, I quickly I saw real quick it was it was a uh, 46 46 amps right here you got the CT readings number one number two that's the amperage draw and there's another amperage reading up here up top here too those CTs inverter one CT inverter two phase CT inverter one CT those are your amperage draws so I'm gonna take a look over here as well because I don't have to watch here I know it's gonna hold once the peak value I'm in TRMS mode so once it's attempt to start I can watch over here and see where these numbers go up as well right here so I did two of three legs and uh, uh, first leg was 68 second leg was just 1.2 amp shy the peak current Let's see what the third leg is. If the third leg comes in, the third leg comes in um, close or the same, then it confirms the compressor is just lock. My inverter board is fine, just a compressor lock rotor. And um, uh, yeah, but also when I'm when I'm going to recommend to replace the compressor, I'm recommend to replace the inverter board as well. All right. So let's wait for it to restart. Look for the hamperage to spike over here. Not yet guys. Still waiting. Still waiting. So yeah, there's a few parts of this video because I stopped. I didn't intend on making this video. It just happened that I just made this video. I was gonna make a short and I just, I just kept on going. So there's gonna be a few parts to it. Just make sure you watch all three parts. Are are all four parts. Okay, I think we're coming right now. Let's start. Nothing yet. It's on our amperage. Let's watch it closely this time. I want you guys to see the amperage spike on the on the tool. Meanwhile, I'm looking at the meter. Here it goes. See the hamperage? See the spike? Forty-three. My meter says sixty-two. Forty-nine point eight. It's spiking right there. Compressor number two is trying to start as well, but it's compressor one is drawing significantly more hams than compressor number two. Um. I think we're already locked out. And actually, as a matter of fact, it should be a seat right here. Yeah, right there. And here it is. So I got 68, uh, 66.2, was it? Come in the comment section. And 70. So all three lines were drawing that amperage so we know that the inverter board is putting out it's putting out they are close they are within they are within um, two hams um, 68 yes yeah, so they're they within two hams range the amperage draw they're not far apart so the inverter is firing um, it's not equally the voltage on all three phases but it's close enough it's tolerable I would say so diagnostics it's compressor all right 
I could do one more test. I could do one more test. Just to, just to have my meter real time testing the voltage in all three phases. But I'm going to close this video off though. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. As always, preferred, gets it, preferred members gets this first.